We continue now at the top of Daf Ayin Amar Aleph in Maseches Nedarim. This is Nedarim Daf Seventy A. And the previous summer, the Gemara had asked, "What if the person says Kaim Lechi Hayom that I'm upholding the Neder for you today?" So that implies that it's Mufar for tomorrow. So what would be the halacha? Is that annulled or not? And the Gemara now continues and asks, "Im Tim Salomar Halo Amar Lo." Now, if you're going to say, "Well, he didn't actually say Mufar Lechi Lamachar," so it doesn't work. So what if he does say it? Amar Lo Mufar Lechi Lamachar Mahu. Let's say the person does say that it's going to be annulled for you tomorrow. What's the halacha? Do we say that tomorrow he's not able to annul it? Why? Because he's already upheld the nether for today. Meaning to say the halach is that if you hear about a nether, you don't say anything for the whole day, that's considered to be upholding the nether. So then maybe at that point in time, once you've upheld it, you can't uh, you can't annul it the next day. Or maybe, since he didn't actually say that I'm upholding it for you today, when he says the phrase that I'm annulling, it for you tomorrow, mehayom kamra. What he really means to say is, starting from today, it's going to be annulled. Really, from today, and will be annulled tomorrow as well. And the Gemara continues, If you're going to say that nevertheless, since he has upheld it today, so therefore tomorrow it's like it's been upheld, and therefore you can't nullify it. So what if, What if he says, I'm upholding it to you for an hour? So then do we say, It's as if he said to her that it's being nullified after an hour, and it would be nullified. maybe He didn't actually say that to her. And Im Tim Salom or Halo Amar if you're going to say that he didn't actually say those words and therefore it's not nullified, Miu Amar Lamai, what if he did actually say that? Mi Amrin and Kevin Kaimo Kaimo. Do we say since he upheld it for an hour, therefore it's upheld, it can no, it can no longer be nullified? Odilmar maybe, Kevin the Kula Yoma Bar Hakamo Varafaro, since you really have the whole day to decide to uphold or to nullify the nether, Ki Amar Mufar Lechi Lachar Shamahani, if he says to her that it's going to be nullified after an hour, that would be effective. And the Gemara continues, Tashma, come in here. It says in the Mishnah in Nazir, Hareini Nazira, Vishama Bala, Vyamar Vaani. Let's say a woman says she's going to be a Nazira, and her husband hears, and he says, I also, I want to be a Nazir. So, Ein Yachal At that point in time, he can no longer annul her vow. And so the Gemara says, Vamai, why not? Name of Vaani, do Amar Hu al Nafshe, to have a Nazir. Why don't we say that when he says Vaani, he's saying it about himself that he should be a Nazir? But in terms of she being a Nazira, he's saying, for this hour I'm upholding it, but after an hour, if he wants, he should be able to annul it. Why can't he annul it? Isn't it because once it's upheld for that first hour, it's upheld and it's already too late? And the Gemara answers, Lo, no, Kosavr, it's because the Tana holds, Kol Va'ani, anytime a person says Va'ani, Keman Do'amar Kayim Leichi Liolam Dami. It's as if he said explicitly that it's going to be upheld for you forever. And the Gemara continues with the Mishnah, Me Sa'av, Lo Nisorok, No Rishos Labal. If the father dies, so the power of annulling does not go to the husband, he alone is not able to annul the vow, he needs the partnership of the father. Me Sa'av, but if the husband dies, Nisorok, No Rishos Labal, then that power to annul the vow, it goes to her father. But ze yofe koach ha'av mi koach ha'bal. In this way, the strength of the father is greater than the strength of the husband. Again, this is talking about a situation of erison. Bedavar acher, in another matter, yofe koach ha'bal mi koach ha'av. The husband's strength is actually greater than the father's strength. Shehabal mefer bebagor, because a husband is able to annul a vow, even when we're talking about a woman who has reached full adulthood, that means she's a bogeris, she's no longer an ara. V'ha'av eno mefer bebagor, but when it comes to a father, he's not able to annul all the vows of his daughter, who's a bogeris. And the Gemara says, My time, what's the reason? The Yamar Kratz, because the Pasuk says, Binureha be Savia, when she's a Nara, she's in the house of her father. And the Ran explains, Binureha be Savia, calls Manshi Nara Shalobogra, as long as she's a Nara, she's not yet a Bogaris, she hasn't reached full adulthood. Lo Seitse me Rashus Savia, she doesn't leave the Rashus of her father. Even if she's an Arusa, even if she's betrothed, she's still under the authority of her father. Hilgach, therefore, Kimeza Av, when the father dies, Lo Nisrokna Rashus Labal. That's why the Rishus does not go over to the husband. At that point, the husband cannot annul her vows without the partnership of the father. And the Gemara continues, Let's say the husband dies, so then the Rishus does go to the father. Where do we know that from? Amar Rabba Rabba says, because the Pasuk says, It says that if she's with a man, she's betrothed to a man, and she has these Nidarim, and the Gemara will dash in the double language of Hayosia. We'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Ayin Amud Beis.